Today we're going to continue with our lesson on Chudanzuki or middle punch. As you remember in the first part of this uh, technique that we focus primarily on just simply the arm movements, right? Moving our arms back and forth in that push and pull motion. Today we're going to be focusing on another important aspect of the technique and that is called koshi. Koshi refers to the hip or your hip or your waist movements. It involves this whole region of your body and koshi is important because koshi uh, is a way to help generate power in your punches, your strikes, and your kicks. And I'm going to share with you um, two simple exercises that you can do to help develop your koshi. The first exercise involves you simply standing in your heikodachi, and I've taken the liberty today of wearing uh, my karate gi in order to help me um, demonstrate um, the points that I'm trying to make today. So you want to make sure that you're standing firmly in heikodachi, and I want you to imagine that you have no use of your arms. You're, for whatever reason, your arms do not work. And what you're going to do is you're just going to simply turn your waist from left to right. You're going to turn using only the power of your waist. So your feet should still, your toes should still remain pointing straight. And the only thing that's going to move is your waist. So when you turn to the left, notice how my arms just follow. Then I turn to the right, and my arms just follow. And just going to go back and forth. Just like this. And stay relaxed. And just turn your waist. Notice how the arms follow. Relax. Turn the hips. Turn the waist. Don't forget to breathe in the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And just turn the waist from left to right. And let the arms follow. I'm going to give you a view from the rear. Can you see? Okay. And let's do it from this angle. Notice that as I turn my waist, my arms simply just move along according to the movement of my waist. And back in the front one more time. Just relax and turn the waist from left to right. Now you can do that exercise anywhere, any place, any time. You can do it for a 10 count or 20 count, or you can set the timer on your phone or stopwatch. You can set it for a minute, two minutes, do it as much as you like to um, to de help develop that koshi, that waist, that hip movement. Second exercise I want to show you, um, I'm going to have to improvise uh, on this exercise. Normally, this next exercise, I would um, hold my arms out at shoulder level against the wall because you don't want your shoulders to move for this next exercise. The only thing that you want to move is your, your waist. Right, so I'm just going to use this bow staff here. I'm going to place it in the center of my body. And I'm going to hold my arms firmly here. And hopefully this will keep help me to keep my shoulders from moving. And now what I want you to do is you're going to move your left hip like so and hold it. Notice. Notice the knot on my belt. Notice where the knot on my belt is. So that shows you that I've turned my hips, projected my hip out, my left hip, and now I just release and let go. And notice how my hips return to the center. And then I'm going to project my right hip. And notice how the knot on my belt turns. So it shows you I'm projecting my hip. And then I just release and I let go. And so all I do is go left and then right. 
But what I like to do is just work on one side at a time. So we're just going to work on the left side. So let's do that for a 10 count. Just projecting the left hip. Ready, itch. And release. Knee. Sun. Stay relaxed. Chi. Go. Rook. Don't move the shoulders. Sitch. Hutch. Just move the hips. Q. Ju. Now, let's project the right hip for a 10 count. Ready? Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Ruk. Sitch. Hutch. Q. Ju. And now let's just alternate left and right. Ready? Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Ruk. Sitch. Hutch. Q. Ju. And again, that's another exercise that you can do for a set count, as I demonstrated here in the video, or you can set the timer on your phone, wristwatch, and uh, you can set it for a minute, two minutes, and you know, do it throughout the day, throughout the day, and learn to develop that koshi. Okay, um, we're gonna come back in the next video. We're gonna put together the arm movements with the koshi to complete the technique for. Chudan Zuki. All right? I'll see everyone next video.